Welcome to my channel. So at the time of this video, we are a couple of days after the second Kickstarter for the Spectrum Next. And one of the nice upgrades that Kickstarter 2 backers are getting is that each machine will come with 2 megabytes of RAM. That means that there will be significantly more machines that are equipped with 2 megabytes of RAM. So I thought that might be a good reason to upgrade my Kickstarter 1 Spectrum Next. So I did a little bit of research and the first uh, place to look for which RAM chips would actually work is the Spectrum Next Wiki. So I ordered these RAM chips and I specifically picked the Alliance Semiconductor ones because they are easy to order from the US where I live. One chip is 4 megabit which is the equivalent of 512 kilobyte and it costs about 5 US dollar. So in total for two chips it cost me 10 US dollar plus tax plus shipping so overall 20 US dollar. So I just wanted to show you how the boot menu looks like before I put in the RAM expansion. The 768k mean that there are one megabyte of RAM in this machine and I expect that after I put in the chips that number will say 1768k. This is also a great opportunity for me to take a look inside my Spectrum Next since I haven't opened it up so far. This is the accelerated version so it's fully equipped without me having to solder anything. So let's open this baby up. So I assume I need to loosen the screws here to get to the board where the RAM sockets are. So I skipped this step where I pulled out these uh, keyboard cables here and they just uh, I just pulled them out of these sockets here, these, yeah, very easy and you just plug them back in when you're done. And another thing I have to do is, um, yeah, disconnect this little plug so I can get to this main board and as you can see the RAM sockets are here. Alright, let's put the chips into the socket and you can see that the sockets are actually a little wider than the chips. So what I did is I lined the chips as recommended in the wiki to the leftmost side and all I have to do is let's push them into the socket. And here another one. Okay, that's it.
All right, let's connect this back. All right, the moment of truth. Let's connect this. Let's see if it actually worked. Okay, signal is there. And you see in the boot menu, it says 1792. So in the beginning I stated 1768, but of course I, a megabyte is 1024K, so there's the math error. So let's try a program here. We'll show we. So, for example, next door. Okay, that looks good. And let's see a couple of keys. Okay, that worked just fine. Okay, that was all for today. As you can see, RAM upgrades are relatively easy to do, even for people like me who only occasionally fix electronic stuff. Thank you for stopping by and see you next time.